Hey everybody, Cryptic Panther back. Another rant. You know, on episode four? Yeah, I think number number four. We're, we're gonna fucking call it number four. So my rant is fucking Nintendo. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I already done I already done some Nintendo rants. I'm gonna hold off on those, at least for an episode. So what I wanna talk about today is this whole console war PC master race mentality. It's fucking ridiculous. I know that a lot of times it's done in jest and in joke. It's like, oh, you know, you're you're a you know console pleb and a console noob, and oh, you're playing that game at 480p. Yeah, it's all well and good. But here's my here's my rule on it. I grew up. I'm gonna kind of gain my age a little bit. I grew up when we only had one fucking type of thing to play. I fucking game on a Commodore 64. You know, Atari 2600. NES, SNES. I went through all the Nintendos right up until, you know, well, I had a Wii for a little while. Uh, played it about 12 times. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, ga I, had, I had a gaming PC for a lot of years. I, I gamed PC pretty much strictly. That's all I did. Um, but then I, get in, I had a PS2. I I didn't, you know, it wasn't a PS1 player. I missed out on that PS1 whole genre. I had played one. I just didn't own one. Uh, I was PC gaming. And, and, I mean, that's kind of where I was at. And then it just kind of was like, well, every two years you got to start upgrading. And I just kind of looked at it. Well, you know, PlayStation 2 was, was getting pretty big and a lot of games are for that. And, and uh, a friend of mine was playing on it. So I said, oh, let's, let, you know, let's give this console a try again. So I got a PS2. Loved it. Played it all the time. I stopped PC gaming um, pretty much at that point at PS2. Uh, then I switched to Xbox 360 where I was working at the time. But three or four of the guys that I worked with all played on Xbox 360 playing Halo. So that's what I did. I switched over and, and I was playing Xbox 360 for a long time. And I never really felt that I was one of those people, oh, it has to be on PlayStation, it has to be on Xbox, it has to be on PC. I was kind of, I played everything. And I didn't really, you know, I didn't really have a, a, a fan favorite, so to speak. I wasn't a fanboy. Um, then, you know, um, PlayStation 3 came out. I wasn't interested. It was way too expensive, way overpriced, and it didn't seem like a lot of good games for it. So I stuck with my 360 for a long time. Um, I ended up getting a PS3 uh, a couple years after, you know, after they come out with the smaller versions where they get rid of the giant black glossy bastard. I got a PS3, and it wasn't long after that, unfortunately, I did suffer the old red ring of death on my on my Xbox 360. So um, I tried fixing it, tried fixing it, and eventually I just I just trashed it. And I'm on PS3, um, and I kind of stayed with PS3. I didn't look at anything Xbox after that. I wasn't into PC gaming at all. My friends were on PlayStation at this point in time. I met a lot of people uh, playing Battlefield 3 uh, through Reddit and stuff. And I, and I still game with those people today. And, I mean, that's a long time ago. So, yeah. So, I, I've been a PlayStation fanboy, so to speak. And, and I'm at PS4. I bought it. I bought PS4 day one. I was, like, on the bandwagon, full tilt. Um, you know, I wasn't looking at, at anything Xbox. I didn't want an Xbox One. Um, you know, uh, I wasn't looking for that, that experience. The whole Kinect thing turned me off. The price turned me off. And like I said, all my friends were on PlayStation. So I even I recently, and I mean, if you watch my channel, I really see unboxed, and, and I have a PS4 Pro now. Um, so yeah, I, you can I, I'll call myself kind of a, a Sony fanboy, so to speak. I don't I don't take offense to that, but this whole whole thing is like people that shit all over console games. It's it's ridiculous. Oh, you fucking console can't play 60 frames per second. Yada yada. Most of us wouldn't fucking know the difference. Between, you know, 30 and 60. Some games are definitely you're going to see a big difference in. Some of the games, you're not going to notice it. I prefer, and yes, I know consoles are underpowered compared to PCs. But when I buy when I buy a, piece, a, a console, PS4, I take it home, set it down, plug it in, turn it on, log in, and I'm done. I don't have to worry about drivers. I don't have to worry about software updates and find out the new drivers. Software updates come on the console, but it's automatic. You log in, oh, update, updates installs, you're good to go. With PC, it's it's more labor intensive. And I and I work in IT. I've been doing IT work for over ten years. I have built my last two computers, and I'm currently actually building a gaming PC. I'm just waiting on some parts to show up. So and there's going to be an unboxing of some parts uh, probably the next day. Show up on the site if you want to see that. But yeah, I mean, I don't hold, I don't, I mean, we make fun of Switch players and, and make fun of Xbox players. Um, if you're going to game, game. I, I mean, I don't got a problem with what you game on. I mean, I may make fun of you, but I mean, people make fun of me for playing on PlayStation, not playing on PC. Well, 
my current PC will play some games, but it's not, it's not designed for gaming. I built it um, to have something to edit with, something that was a lot better than the nine-year-old, the seven-year-old PC that I was trying to edit and, and render video on. So the current rig I got, I'm, I'm stripping it down. I'm building a gaming rig. But these people that you go on Reddit and you go on on YouTube videos that of video games, especially Bungie. We'll talk about Bungie and Destiny too. That's the big game right now, and I'm playing it. I'm playing it on PS4 Pro, and, and the game looks good. The game plays really well. It's smooth. I don't have any problems. I'm not getting any frame drops. I'm not getting any lag. You know, through the gameplay, I, I love it. I played it. I played Bun, uh, Bungie. I played Destiny on the PS4. So. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to play Destiny 2. I'm, I'm liking the game. But all the people that are, you know, PC gamers solely and are not getting it for console are finally getting it on PC, Destiny 2. And they've been going on the forums and they're going on the YouTube videos and Reddit and shitting all over, oh, fuck consoles, can't play it at 60. Fucking P Sony and fucking garbage PS4 and garbage Pro. Fuck you. You got to take a look at it. It's not necessarily the hardware. But Bungie's still using the same game engine they built Destiny 1 on. The PC version is on a brand new engine completely designed for PC. So, yes, it'd be nice if we got true 1080, 60, you know, blah, 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 whatever you want to rave about. And this whole talk about 4K, I'd be happy if the PS4 Pro done 1080, 60 and everything. You know, it was across the board, 100% stable. I don't care for 4K. I'm not currently playing on a 4K monitor or a 4K TV. So I don't really care about 4K. I want something that's more power. It's going to play better. Less chance of frame drops. I'm happy for that. But the mentality of people that if you don't have a, you know, a $4,000 computer, you're nothing but a fucking piece of shit. Well, I think if the people that have disposable income and want to spend that money, be my guest. You know, I, I tell you, if I had the money, yes, I'd be running fucking two 1080 Ti's. I'd be running a fucking Ryzen 7 ticket out to the fucking max. I'd have 32 gigs of RAM. Yes, sure, I'd love to have that, but I can't afford it. I have a job. I have car payments. I have a mortgage. And my job doesn't pay big, big money. I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't get sponsors. I don't get free products, free items. I don't get sponsored by anybody. And I don't make money off 99.9% .9 of my videos. I do it for fun. And I mean, I, don't say me wrong, I'd love to have a big sponsor, I'd love to have money, but I know that that's long down the road if it ever happens. But it's the mentality of people online that like to say, oh, well, I have, I bought a 1080 Ti. Well, you know, in the States, they run about 900 bucks. You know, in Canada, those run for 1300 fucking dollars. I can buy three PlayStation 4 Pros for 1300 bucks. Or if not three Pros, but I can buy three PlayStation 4s for 1300 bucks. And I can buy two Pros... For under for about a thousand bucks, so for one gaming video card, I can have two consoles. Yes, I know, no, you don't need a 1080 Ti to play the games. I get that, but the people that brag online that they have this, they have that, and if you don't game with this and have a three hundred dollar keyboard and hundred dollar mouse, that you're not a true gamer. Like that's the fucking mentality of these people that are you know PC mass race. And yes, I'm fucking throwing up air quotes. The people that live that that mentality piss me off. You know what? Consoles have over PCs. You know what they have? They have fucking exclusives that are kick ass. PlayStation especially. They have the best exclusives of all three major platforms. And I'm not talking about Nintendo. I'm talking Xbox. I'm talking about PC. And I'm talking about PlayStation. The three big hitters in the gaming industry, in my mind, have, you know, those are the three. We're going to talk about. We're not talking about Switch and Nintendo and all their exclusives, but the biggest hitter right now in exclusives is the PlayStation and Xbox. Now that they have games on Windows, most of their exclusives now are on PC. So what is the incentive to buy an Xbox now? If you want Forza Seven, if you got a PC, you don't need an Xbox One or an Xbox One X. If you wanted this game and Gears of War and all those games now are coming off of you know they're they're both they're on Xbox and they're on PC, so you don't need to own both of them anymore. You can get away with a PS4 and a PC and pretty much play everything outside of Nintendo. Because Nintendo's don't, their stuff don't play anything but a Nintendo product. Which, in my mind, is a little sad. Because um, I think if they marketed their software and get out of the hardware business, they'd probably make more money. But, yeah, I mean, don't be a, a fucking PC Master Race asshole. Don't be a console, you know, an asshole either. Don't say, oh, you game a PC because you're this or you're a hacker or whatever. Not like, just... Don't fucking shit on someone for what they play on. 
just play fucking video games and enjoy them. I mean, I game almost every day. I game on my PS4 Pro right now. I gamed on my PS4 before. I gamed on I game on my my PC a little tiny bit. It's not powerful enough to play a lot of stuff. But don't don't take the mentality and don't hate on somebody or try to make someone feel small because they play on a certain platform. Yes, I don't make fun of people with the Nintendo Switch. I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna make fun of people who play on the Switch. I'm just gonna make fun of the product. You know, if you want to play on a Switch, I'll be my guest. I wish I could play Zelda Breath of the Wild. People keep saying it's a great game, but I'm not buying another console. I can't afford to buy another console that I'm going to play one or two games on. That's not what I'm doing. I bought I bought my PS4 because I'm going to play all the PS4 exclusives. Well, not all of them, but I'm going to play a majority of PS4 exclusives. And with my PC, there's games that I can't play on, P- on PS4 that I can play on PC. And I have friends now moving over to PC just because, you know, we want to play more games. So... Next time you're on a Reddit, YouTube, or some other forum, and someone makes a comment that they play on PlayStation, or they play on Xbox, or they play on Switch, or you know they play on a PC, don't fucking turn around and shit on them because of what they play on. Just think, oh, this guy games like I do. Wonder what he plays or she plays. Don't be like, oh, this fucking chick or this dude plays on fucking Xbox. They're a fucking scrub piece of shit. Maybe that's all they could afford. Maybe that's what they were given. Maybe, like me, they were a long-time gamer on that platform and they have all their friends on that platform. You know, think before you speak sometimes. That's kind of the end of the rant. So this is the end of episode four. If you have any ideas for what you'd like to hear my opinion on, feel free to leave a comment. Hit me up on Twitter. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more Panthers rants. Have a good day.